Tupperware reaches consumers all across the world, and here with me is Chief Executive Rick Goings. Rick, it's great to see you. Good to be here with you, Emily. So Tupperware is a door-to-door -door or direct selling company, and you guys are able to reach people before a lot of the brick and mortar stores are set up. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're seeing growth? Yeah, and that's a good place to start is that, you know, when you go to the emerging markets of the world, a couple of conditions there that make it even better for us is you don't have a very well-developed retail infrastructure and there aren't many earning opportunities for women. So that gives us a turbo boost in those kinds of markets. And when you put a third factor together with, uh, that's where most of the people of the world live. There's only 5% of the population in the U.S., about 5% in Western Europe. So that's where all the growth is gonna come from. Fantastic. Are there any countries in particular that you guys are keeping an eye on? Well, yeah, you know, there's been so much talk uh, about China and China slowing down. It, I met with a senior person from China this morning in Davos, and it's interesting. It's still almost 8% growth in China, and our business is, uh, is up double digit in, in China. So we really don't have a concern uh, about that market. We're starting to see uh, uh, Indonesia is our number one country right now. Who would have believed the largest Muslim population in the world? We have a woman president and that we'd have dramatic double digit growth there. So it's, uh, it, it's good over there. Europe is still tricky in the western part of Europe, but I, I believe the European leaders are beginning to, to sort it out. Fantastic. And with that growth, you always learn so much about the consumer insights since you're trying to really dig down and get into that model. What are you seeing? What's fresh right now? Well, two things I'm seeing very, very fresh. Firstly, this emerging middle class. What's happened is with the advent of global communications in the internet, uh, it used to be 10, 15, 20 years where a new middle class would want things that we see in the West. She wants it now. She wants it now. Uh, and that's really going to drive a lot of that growth. Asia will go from 500 million middle class right now to within seven years, 1.7 billion. So that's a big theme, emerging middle class. The other thing that I'm seeing that with consumers is the influence of millennials. And it's not just happening uh, in their age group. Millennials are influencing baby boomers uh, and the younger generations. When they look for opportunity, uh, they firstly, they want to find meaning in life. Mm -hmm. uh, they want quality. Very interesting point. And they want it now, right? Yeah, oh, they <laughs> want it now. And they don't believe in advertising. Up to 80% of them say they pay no p attention to advertising. They listen to their friends who they are connected to. That makes it good for Tupperware because every 1.4 seconds, a friend is starting a Tupperware party for another friend. So that's happened a few times since we've been chatting. And it just sure before has. we wrap up, I really wanted to ask you, the direct selling market has had quite an interesting year, you know, 18 months with controversy around Herbalife, New Skin stock went down 30% just a little while ago. How does that affect Tupperware, a major player in that market, to have all of that drama unfolding around it? Well, uh, Emily, I really think of, uh, th there may be good companies that I don't know that much about, but chalk and cheese. We're a direct seller that our products are sold right to the end user. And so much of the controversy has been around companies that basically are network marketing. Uh, and uh, there's still the old image of pyramiding uh, mm -hmm. there. And are people really selling a product or are they selling just the opportunity. And the best way that uh, we ha have continued is to distance ourselves from that. We wrote a white paper mm -hmm. to help educate people on this is what Tupperware does. Mm -hmm. We train a person, she goes out and actually makes a sale, and that's how profits are made. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Rick.